Hey, this is Skylar. And one face, small face, um, face near bottom. Right I am going to talk to you today about recording tools and toys. First of all, if you're new to my channel, I am blind. I am autistic. I have Asperger's to be exact, and I have a heart condition. Well, me and recording toys go way back. Recorders, I like anything that records and uh, plays back because I have favorite words. And sometimes my favorite words, like when I was at school, they were kind of taboo. And they weren't really, people weren't really w willing to say them to me. Like if I needed help calming down, they would just say one of my hated phrases, which is take a deep breath. If anybody else hates that phrase, please let me know in the comments. Or they would say relax or chill. Those really don't work for me either. Or calm down. Um, but they would never say any of my favorite words to help me calm down. So I discovered the beauty of recording tools and toys. Voice recorders, recording toys when I was little they had this parrot thing that talked back to you it, it recorded um now when I was 11 I was hooked on the Spanish word for the color black which is negra or negro what I would do is I would braille that word because that that word was pretty much taboo I don't know why because I didn't mean it like you think I did I didn't mean it to be racist like some other people think I do it was just the Spanish word for the color black I like the sound of it um and and, and note when it comes to Asperger syndrome th there's something called special interest and one of my quote-unquote special interest is it called is favorite words anyways so what I would do when I was 11 is I, I would write that word the Spanish word for the word black, I would write it in braille, like on a, on a braille piece of paper, and I would safety pin it to my shirt. Now, my mom wasn't really digging this because um, the safety pins left holes in my shirt. So, yeah. Um, so, then I moved on to, like, tape recorders and, and digital recorders, which leads me to... Uh, the person that I have laying on my on my table. We're going to discuss her next. Here's her face. And here's her body. Just sit her on the keyboard. That way you can get a nice shot of her. Now she might just, you might be thinking that that's just a normal baby doll. Well, newsflash, she has a feature that I'm really fond of. Not only can you play mommy, which I, I, I like, you know, to play with babies because I'm, I'm a child at heart. But you can play mommy and get your favorite words said. With this little mommy talk with me repeating doll by Mattel. Let me show you on one of my new favorite words. Okay, say Impala. Impala. See, she kind of says what you say back. Say Arizona. Arizona. Say Crucio. Yeah, and she has her little funny phrases that she adds to. Say, Glyceriza glabra. Say, Glyceriza glabra. Say, Licorice. Licorice. See, she says what you say back when you press her button on her midriff. Uh, for those of you who are wondering, uh, Glyceriza glabra is the species name for the licorice plant. 
which is the tea that I'm sipping right now. It's licorice. Um, so now what I just showed you is that when you press her button on her midriff and then say something and then release it, when you release that button, she repeats back to you what you said, which is not only can be funny, but it can also, for people who view who have favorite words, it's a way to get your favorite words said by not having to beg somebody else. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I wouldn't take this out in public, but yeah. Um, like in your, in, in your house, you know, in your room. And she's just like, she's a baby doll. I mean, she's really small like she's the size of a baby so like i'm holding her right now because if i don't she'll fall over of course but yeah she's she's a little mommy i'll put the link in the description little mommy talk with me repeating doll by mattel now like i said me and recording toys and tools we go way back when i was um when I was at school, cause, because my teachers, they wouldn't say in my favorite words for me. So, like, during pictures, I would always be looking like this. Because they would always say, smile, and or cheese, or something like that, and that doesn't work for me. So, what I would do is I would take a recorder. I, I don't have it now, but it was, like, about that big, and... She, it was on a keychain and it looked like a cough drop, um, the way it was shaped. I didn't really like that one very much because it didn't have a headphone jack, but you, bad girls can't be choosers. And when the pictures were getting ready to play, I would play it and I would say smile and say, say suvlaki, which is one of my favorite words because I like the V, the VL combo, like the name Vladimir, for example. Uh, right before my picture and it, it would make me smile so what I'm saying is that recording tools and toys are perfect for people who have favorite words or are fixated on a word and are always begging you can you please say such and such a word can you please say XYZ word now the only reason that I beg for people to say my favorite words now is during lab like when I'm getting stuck because I can't go pressing on a recorder while I'm getting stuck so my mom always says my favorite words for me to help me to relax physically and mentally so that but but other than that you know I have my recording tools and toys so yeah Say bye bye, werewolves. Bye, werewolves. <laughs> Say, see you later, werewolves. Nice meeting you. See you later, werewolves. Nice meeting you. Say, bye. Love you. Bye. Love you.